Hey everybody, Jeremy here, and if you or anyone that you know are into building block construction kits and you want to try something that's a little bit different than what you normally see, well, let me show you and introduce you to this. Now this is from Brain Crunch, and this is from the Smart Machines line, and basically what this is is a remote control toy building kit with motors and stuff that really move. So this was sent to me by the company that makes it and they were also kind enough to sponsor this video. So thank you very much for that. And I'm gonna show you what one of these sets are like in action. So what can you build with this? Well, the cool thing is there's four different types of machines that you can build. One of them is gonna be a racing car. You get a knight riding a horse. You get a tank, which is gonna be the one that I'm building since that's the one they feature on the box. And then you also get this bug type creature as well. And each of them have different difficulty levels with the race car being the easiest one to build and then the bug machine being the hardest one to build. But no matter which one that you try to build, it's not a whole lot of pieces, especially compared to stuff that we normally see. This thing here only has 200 and 37 pieces in a 56 page instruction manual so it's very very manageable so let's open this up let's see what you get inside so it's a very nice presentation everything has its own little compartment which is very nice but i'm going to point out some of the things that stand out most inside this box and one of them is going to be this little remote control that you have here and you are going to have to provide your own battery so you're going to need two AA batteries and four AAA batteries so that everything can get up and running and working together so you got this remote control here and then we also get inside of this little container all these gears and axles and then you also have a little tool in here that helps to separate the various bricks and parts if you want to break it down and build something else because you don't just have to build what they have here on the box if you want to get creative you can build your own creation as well and that little piece is just going to help to separate everything and we also get some of these motorized pieces these look like a little micro usb plug that is going to go into this little device here so once we get everything up and running this is going to plug into it we're going to put batteries in it and then we're going to see everything run but for the pieces themselves you can see they come inside of these little plastic bags you know pretty much exactly what we're used to and then we have these uh, little bricks and blocks that to me are kind of like a hybrid between what you see in lego and what you see with connect so if you were to marry those two together that's pretty much the type of design that you're looking at here and then lastly at the bottom of the box, we have this instruction manual. I think it's a very nice instruction manual too. You see that all of the instructions are laid out in their own individual box and it's colorful and they show you exactly where everything is supposed to go. And upon first glance, looks like this is going to be not too bad to put together. So these instructions look pretty clear. And we're going to get started building this now like i said i'm going to be building this tank here since that's what's on the box and this is like the medium difficulty level for this level one kit so that's what we're going to do i'm going to separate all this stuff like i usually do with building block sets and when i come back we're going to see it in action so we're just starting off and within the first couple of pages you can kind of see where we're going with this here we put on these three axles and as you can see they all move with each other so when this is all powered up this is what's going to get those treads of moving all right let's keep going now we're making the tank treads and all the little treads are made up of these smaller pieces here so basically what i'm going to have to do is combine about 26 of these together until we got one big flexible tank tread and then we got to do the do that for both sides So we got the tank all built up and those instructions were pretty good. I didn't have any trouble putting this together. Those pictures were spot on and it was very good, very easy to understand. So we're going to take this for a little spin to see if it works. So the motors are built on the bottom of the tank. One of the first things that you put together in this build are the two motors. They have these micro USB cables coming out of them and those are attached to this main board on the top and the main board takes four AAA batteries. So now that this is situated on top of the tank, I'm gonna turn on the main board and then with this remote control that takes two AA batteries, the instructions say to press F4 on this remote control to sync them together and then we're gonna take it for a go. So let me do that. 
All right, so the light is now solid on the main board. So let's let's do it. Here we go. Three, two, one. Oh. <laughs> okay, so we made that go to the left. Let's make it go right. Back and forward. Whoa. Okay. All right, so we don't have enough room on this table to really go crazy with this. So let's move to a more open area. So that was the Smart Machines tank, and I had a lot of fun putting this thing together and trying it out, and I was really surprised at how powerful these little motors are. I thought that this thing was going to go flying off this table when I tried it out for the first time. And putting it downstairs on a solid surface, this thing can really move. I even put it on the carpet, and I put it on my bed just to see how much traction these treads can get, and they get pretty good traction. I am genuinely surprised at the amount of power that these little motors put out so yeah if you are interested in this or any of the other three builds that you can make with this or even your own creations because there's a lot of different parts that you have left over when you built this tank and you can build something else with these and put it on top of the tank if you want or just make whatever it is your heart's desire there's plenty of pieces for that I'm gonna leave a link in the description of this video where you can find this on Amazon and it can make a pretty darn good gift gift for you or anybody else that you might know because this this is actually really fun and it's a really different way to build up construction sets and and use a little ingenuity and you can play with it afterwards it's not just static we got electronics and that's always great so thank you guys so much for watching this video i appreciate it thank you for your time and until next time i'm jeremy and i'll talk to you later